Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am DM Bloodworth, uh, and uh, as you can see by the graphics, uh, today I'm going to be talking about Blackmore Foundations, the history, maps, and lore from 1971 to 1985, the early fantasy RPG works of Dave Arneson. So um, I recently pre-ordered this. And uh, as a matter of fact, on June 9th, I pre-ordered this and I've already received an advanced, an advanced uh, uncorrected proof of the, uh, you know, of the book. And it is uh, due to begin shipping on uh, in the third week of June. So. Uh, you know, really happy to receive this advanced. Uh, I don't know if this was already coming to me since I had uh, interviewed um, I, I interviewed uh, Griffith Morgan uh, a couple months ago, and he brought this up. He brought up this uh, this product uh, that was in the works at the time, and so when I saw that it was uh, in pre-order uh, the other day, I certainly backed it and I will go over that and, and show that as well but uh, you know having having the booklet in hand and just starting to go through it and and look at where it stands right now and I'll be able to show you the flip through that's for free on the uh, you know on the website and I'll go to that and, and go through that a little bit with you as well so that you can see but um, this really is a part of my collection of, <coughs> excuse me, it's a, this is part of my collection of um, trying to piece together uh, the true impact of Dave Arneson on Dungeons and Dragons. And uh, as you can see, it, uh, it literally predates 1974 going back to um at least 1971 and uh and then there were others involved like dave wesley and uh his uh his bronstein um you know his uh bronstein uh role-playing game he he literally is the first uh you know the founder of modern day role-playing games uh so he was the very very first and then I think these under in, other individuals just started building upon what uh, what Dave Wesley had introduced them to. Uh, again, these are all war gamers at the time, and uh, slowly but surely they started adding in those role playing elements and then fantasy elements to them as well. And then in 1974. Uh, Dave Arneson and Gary Gygax obviously uh, create Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you know, together along with others that certainly helped contribute to the uh, the creation of the game that we're all talking about. So, as part of my collection of resources that uh, I think is uh, really important to fully understand uh, the impact of Dave Arneson. Uh, you should certainly begin with, and actually I will switch so you can see a full view here. You can begin with picking up The Secrets of Blackmore. Um, this is an incredible documentary, and it is, uh, you know, it covers everything that um, was going on around Dave Arneson's table uh, and, and the tables of others as well. And it gives you a, a true history of what they were doing uh, in, in really sparking what would become the, uh, you know, the, the joint effort of those war gamers that were in Twin Cities and those war gamers that were in uh, Lake Geneva. And uh, by bringing them together, we ended up with Dungeons and Dragons. So this is an absolute must. All right, um, from listening to this and, and the interviews and, and talks with uh, Robert Koontz, 
uh, who I really, really do want to have on my channel sometime. And I, I do have some means of reaching out to him uh, through other um, through other YouTube channels. Uh, you know, Lord Gasumbo in particular, I'm going to reach out uh, through him to get Robert on my, uh, you know, on my channel um, because I've, I've run some of his adventures recently and I have some of his books as well, including this here. So this is Dave Arneson, True Genius, Dave Arneson's True Genius by Robert J. Kuntz and I highly recommend you pick up that. Um, other things that I picked up from uh, the group around um, the group around Blackmore and its you know other workings, which I will show you, um, is uh, I picked up the the lost uh, this is the Lost Dungeons of Tonisburg, and a really beautiful book, and I just love the. I love the style of the hand-drawn maps, and you see the original notes, and that is what everything is in this book. It is just, it is just photographs, you know, of their original uh, things. I'm reading here, uh, number four, a white dragon with ten thousand copper pieces, a plus one armor, scroll of seven spells. Um, just looking through this and seeing those original notes and then uh and then later on the, the commentary and um and even game master tips and such uh just an incredible resource uh to get your hands on and then finally to finish it off we have uh the blackmore foundations uh which is currently in pre-order but due to ship mid um not mid uh third week of june so really in about a week or so, it should start uh, shipping out. And you can see um, in here, again, uh, hand-drawn maps. You know, in some cases they are, uh, so that, that's actually the village of Blackmore that you see there. All right, and so this is from the 1980, uh, 1983 Adventures Game Incorporated, which was Dave Arneson's uh, Dave Arneson's game company uh, after he left TSR. Um, but here you have, you know, color, hand-drawn maps that are in there and just, just phenomenal resource. Again, if you truly want to capture old school Dungeons and Dragons or, or the precursor to Dungeons and Dragons, then uh, delving into the very first fantasy role-playing game uh, setting of Blackmore, this is where you're going to go to. Now, again, he called, uh, Dave Arneson never called it fantasy role-playing game. He called it adventure gaming. Uh, so, you know, that's another interesting little bit of history that I picked up just from a very first glance at this. So, let's take a look at their website so that you can see what is there. You can also see I picked up a, a t-shirt long, long ago about when I first bought uh, this. So uh, that goes back to like 2019 or so, maybe 2020, when I picked up The Secrets of Blackmore. But here we go. <coughs> so here you have their website. So you can just do a quick search of uh, the Fellowship of the Thing or tfott.com and it will bring you here and you can see all of their products um, that they do have. So they have the Blackmore Foundations, which is currently, and I will click on that, and uh, you can reserve your copy now. Um, it is on pre-order and they show you the sample here. Um, if I go larger, <coughs> if I go larger on this view, it actually becomes really quite blurry, but you can see what is initially in here. Now again, this is the, this is the advanced uncorrected proof. So I'm sure that um, some of these blank pages will be removed and uh, 
and, and you'll have a better a better presentation of it without those blank pages but I mean you can look at the the close-ups of some of these maps and everything and they're so highly detailed um, that uh, it's it's pretty impressive that these are hand drawn you know so that's that's pretty impressive so this is going to be a first edition paperback perfect bound 109 pages gloss uh, soft cover 39.95 plus shipping and handling <coughs> and it really is a uh, you know it really is a, a amazing product i can't wait to get the final version of it so going back let's close this out so going back to home so you can still get copies of the dvd which i highly highly recommend um and let's see i'm pretty sure the dvd is is fairly uh it's only 14.95 my gosh uh no excuse <laughs> pick up the dvd uh, only 14.95 and it is in stock so i would definitely recommend doing that and then we have uh now they do a uh, arnicon too so october 4th to 6th 2024 i'll show you the thomas burke after that <coughs> so robert Kuntz is going to be there as well as Alexander Macris and uh, Ronan Wong. Um, I wish I didn't have so many things going on in October. Um, but I will eventually either get to this or go to DaveCon. Uh, one, of the, one of the two I'm looking to do um, next year. Uh, so uh, let's see. Others, David Wesley. Gosh, I really do have to get to this. Uh, David Magari. I have to look into it because I have a lot of other conventions going on. And I have one going on in September just before this. Um, but certainly, I will certainly take a look at it. Um, and this is going to be again in, uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I'll check it out. All right. And then Tonnesburg. Sorry. I got off onto a tangent. Um, so here we have Tonnesburg, and this here was thirty dollars, and and well worth it. I mean, it's a you know it's a uh, very expansive uh, you know uh, adventure uh, mega dungeon type. Uh, it comes with when you buy it, you get the free PDF. Uh, you know version of it you get a fifth edition conversion you get the VTT maps and more with the purchase of this and uh, I tend not to do like full coverage of adventure modules because I don't like to spoil them uh, but I will talk in general about this as well and um, and just a, a last a last note on this here so you can get a copy of this book from three lines, uh, three line studios.com, uh, or studio, I should say, three line studio.com. And actually, I will, uh, while I have you here, I might as well open that up as well. So here we go. And wow, well, it's kind of kind of faded but let's see um here we go so this is three line studio and you can see let's get rid of the cookie policy there we go now it's clear <laughs> um so three line studio and we have uh robert j coon's stories and ip snippets uh, here's their store. So let's see what they currently have on here. Um, so they're obviously promoting Arnicon 2. And we have uh, some of his latest digital releases. So you can get these digital copies of uh, various uh, adventures. And um, come on, accept a, 
Uh, here's the book, so now available in PDF as well, so you can get this in PDF. Um, I recommend getting the the book as well, so get the um, get the PDF and the book. Modules, special offer. Twenty-five dollars has to be. Oh, this is a bundle. All right, so it's two adventures. Uh, some of his adventures, like I ran Dark Druids, and what a phenomenal adventure that was. So absolutely loved it. And I am getting ready to run uh, the Dark Chateau, which I'm not seeing here, um, but uh, maybe it is someplace here. Special offers. I already have uh, some of these other things as well. But all of this stuff is just incredible stuff to get your hands on, uh, and I highly recommend it. So again, Three Line Studio Store. Um, let's go back to about. Oh, it broke, just brought it back there. So anyway, that was kind of impromptu. <coughs> Highly recommend this. As you can see, I'm a backer. I, uh, you know, I've bought virtually everything that they have on. Um, you know, on their uh, on their website, I've I've bought several things from Robert Kuntz's website as well, and um, you know they have a convention coming up in October, uh, and just the chance of meeting, you know, Robert Kuntz and uh, um, Dave Wesley and, and others involved in the earliest days of this hobby is uh is something that that would be well worth the trip and it's certainly something that i will be looking into to see if that's a, a possibility for me as well um like i said i have a i i do have a convention in late september and to do a trip like that uh, considering my job in october might be kind of a tough thing to pull off but i'm certainly going to look into it um, and then I have in January a, bi a big trip in January, so I might have to um, I might have to trim down some of my 2025 plans uh, if I do go to uh, either this one or I'll certainly start planning on uh, Arnicon three uh, for 2025 October of 2025 and look at it that way as well. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely check out these things. I will put the uh, I will put the uh, the links in the description of the video so that you can check these things out yourself. And uh, you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping in. If you hadn't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button. Leave your questions and comments in the comments section. Share this video out there. Uh, especially to spread the word on some of the things that they have that are in pre-order or that you can now get in PDF form, uh, you know, for Robert Kuntz's uh, products as well. And, um, you know, and the channel's quickly approaching the, um, the 3,333 mark. I think I'm about 11 or 12 subs away from that uh, benchmark, and I will be doing a live stream and do some more membership giveaways as well as some uh, product giveaways as well. So um, you'll have a great rest of your day and take care.